Welcome to Raceface TV and this week's Raceface Driver Updates. Well, if you're a racing fan, then last weekend was like Christmas with the Grand Prix of Monaco, the Indy 500, and the Coca-Cola 600, not to mention all of the local racing going on all over the country. Congratulations to all the winners, Daniel Ricardo, Will Powers, and Kyle Busch. So let's get right to our driver updates. Raceface driver Jesse Love was behind the wheel of his number 38 5150 Home Smiles Junior Late Model at Madeira Speedway. Jesse set a new track record in qualifying for the Junior Late Model Series. Let's take a look at what that record setting lap looked like. Here's one guy we know is ready, uh, the driver that we call the Hammer, seven times the main event winner in this series in the HomeSmiles.com Toyota for 5150 Energy Drink out of Menlo Park. He won four different championships last year, including our junior late model title, the 38 car of Jesse Love. First lap for Jesse Love, trying to chase Tanner Reif at the top of the board, and he gets oh him by a ton. Goodness. 15.117. He <laughs> might put this car in the O's on lap Well, it's two. only 66 one-thousandths, and so in our world, that's a ton, but in most people's minds, that's a blink of an eye, right? We got the okay that that is the track, track record. record. So how do you back that up? Lead all 70 laps in route to his second victory of the season. Jesse is leading the points championship heading into round five on June 30. Up next for Jesse, BCRA Midgets at Ocean Speedway on June 8th. Race face driver Adam Lemke returned to the RPM Mortgage Pro Late Model Series at Madeira Speedway on Saturday in his number 98 off-axis paint Toyota where he qualified 11th in a 33-car field. Adam ran inside the top 10 all night. On lap 49, three of the top 10 cars got together, blocking the track. When Adam went low to avoid the wreck, a car slid down the track and caught him in the right rear quarter panel. The good news, no major damage. Now the track used this caution as the halfway break, and the Nate Clower Motorsports team made some minor adjustments and were ready to take on the second half of the 80 lap event. The number 98 continued to battle side by side inside the top 10 and eventually brought home his second consecutive top 10, finishing in seventh. Up next for Adam, back at Madeira Speedway on June 9th in the USAC Pavement Western Midget Series. Race face driver Sheldon Creed was at Charlotte Motor Speedway in the ARCA Racing Series General Tire 150. This was ARCA's first time back at Charlotte since 2004. Sheldon qualified eighth and ran in the top five most of the night, leading eight laps, eventually crossing the finish line in third position. Sheldon took the lead on lap 80 and was leading on lap 87 by over two seconds with 13 laps to go before a caution came out and bunched the field back up. On the restart, he got shuffled back when the lead cars went three wide. He made an unbelievable save to secure a great finish. Sheldon remained second in the points, only 15 behind teammate Zane Smith, heading to Pocono on June 1st. Let's take a quick look at race face next driver, Joe Valento, who was at Princeton Speedway on Saturday night in his 03 micro sprint, where they first raced to make up for a feature race that was rained out earlier in the year. Joe started eighth and had moved into the top five when the car in front of him lost its steering wheel. Trying to avoid that car in front of him, Joe clipped an infield tire that spun him around and ended his race. Now on to the scheduled racing events for that night. Joe started six in his heat and finished fourth, and in the feature started eighth and brought home a fifth place finish. The good news is Joe's rookie probation period is now over. During this period, Joe had to start at the back of every race, so he is excited to return to Princeton Speedway on June 8th and compete straight up. Let's take a quick look at where your favorite race face driver will be next week. Sheldon Creed in the ARCA Racing Series at Pocono Raceway on June 1st. Anthony Alfredo in the NASCAR k and Pro Series at Memphis International Speedway on June 2nd. Ryan Vargas, NASCAR k and Pro Series 
Memphis International Speedway, also on June 2nd. And Race Face Next drivers Bryce Bizanson in his mini sprint at Deming Speedway June 1st. Colby and Justice Sokol and their quarter midgets at Elcott, Colorado. Well, that's it for this week's driver update. I hope all of you had a great Memorial Day weekend. And as always, I encourage you to go out and support local racing in your community. And we'll see you back here next week.